Hey guys, in this video I compare Notion to Nimbus Note. As you know from my other videos, especially from my OneNote videos, the same principle refers to Nimbus versus Notion as well, which is that Notion is more of a construct that enables you to create your own system, whereas Nimbus has more or less systems already built in for you. Although I need to say that you can be a little bit more creative with Nimbus than with other productivity and note-taking apps, like OneNote for example, where the main creative freedom lies within the drawing with the pen feature, but it has not nearly as much creative features like in Notion. So keep that in mind when choosing the right app, which means if you're more of a creative self-developing type of person, then I would advise you to stick with Notion. But if you're unsure about that and you want to know more about the other apps as well, then I would recommend to continue this video. Let's start with some basic features. In Nimbus Note, you can create tags for every note, so you can easily find them for future usages. You can make tasks very quickly doing this. You can also make tables and put your tasks into your tables. One thing I like a lot and I'm gonna show afterwards how you can do it in Notion is the rating feature. In Notion there are many ways to make tasks. I made myself these window-like tabs. When you click on one then a sub-page opens. Here you have the possibility to do more. You could also change the layout like this. So regarding the rating feature, let me show you my listing table. I for instance use this table to write down my completed tasks on space repetition. Here you can see some tasks I did and it's really easy to fill in more tasks. So let's say I completed a repetition unit on endocrinology. I did fine but forgot some things. So then I fill in 3 out of 5 and something which I really like is the opportunity to open these sections individually as pages and then add comments or pictures. You're able to be really creative with these features. Nimbus provides you with these two sidebars. You can set up folders here in which you can create as many nodes as you want. One such node would be this. In Notion you can set up pages, which can then be divided into more sub-pages. And within these sub-pages you can create this inception like sub-sub-pages and go on with that. Notion provides you with all necessary features which are things like this. You mark your written text and this table pops up. Something like a quick adjustment. Here you can make your text bold, italic or underline it. Or turn your text into a heading. This is something I use quite often. You can also add an URL which then turns into a box showing the thumbnail. In Nimbus you can also type as much as you want. There is no limit and you can also do quick settings and choose a numbered or bullet list. And copy paste YouTube links like in Notion. The only thing that bothers me somehow is the distance between the lines and at first glance I can't find a way to change it into a smaller distance. But one user in my latest video about Nimbus commented to try this combination shift plus enter. So we're gonna try it now and perfect, it works. In Nimbus you're able to attach colored dots to your notes, which I think is great. That gives you a more interesting motivating overview. Also the three sidebar structure is well made and looks similar to Notion. I also like these little features on the top and how they are designed. The design in Notion is fantastic. You get to import pictures as you cover on the top. You can also add emojis, which I really like. And the arrangement overall with the sub-pages looks a bit like in fancy internet web pages, but made by yourself. And this is really impressive. In Notion you can export your files as PDF files. Something I think is very useful if you need to print something for your work or university. So we're gonna see now if that is possible with Nimbus Node as well. It's working. 
I'm using the free version of Nimbus Note right now. You're able to create 50 notes with this one. The next option is paying $40 every year to get unlimited numbers of notes. If you pay $5 monthly, you get the same option but 10 GB monthly upload limit instead of 5 and up to 30 team members. Alright, you see Nimbus has many useful features. It's a good alternative to Evernote and Notion and other apps. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about this app. Also like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Bye.